All right, guys, it is weight reduction time. It's just cooling up today. It's only 85. Thank God. It was 100 all week last week. So this is the first cool day. I'm perfect. I just got back. Can finally do this. And yeah, we're going to start from the back and go towards the front because the front is going to be a little tough with the front bumper. I'm not sure how to take that off yet, but we'll figure it out. Oh, yeah, this thing weighs like 3,600 something pounds, which is, I mean, that's a lot. So weight reduction is very important. That's why the stock zero to 60 time is not as high as you would think because it's so damn heavy. If this car was like 3,000 pounds, it would be so fast. It would be like a five second a zero to 60 time. I'm gonna start with a CD changer. It's not like I'm ever gonna use it. Of course it's bolted in. Can I get my tools? Of course these screws are stuck. This is gonna be annoying. Just the first thing. Oh man. Okay, that's out. All right, CD changer that doesn't work. Out of here. Unfortunately, I can't get these brackets out right now. Might try later. All right, let's clean this up. The most satisfying part of this is always taking out the spare tire that's like 20 years old. I guarantee, yeah. That's original. And this jack. I didn't even know this was here. It, they really stuck it in like luxury cars, man. They try too hard to keep stuff secure. I get it though. Look how much was in the trunk. Oh my god. This is at least 50 pounds, at least. This, this carpet is actually as heavy as the spare tire. This trunk is massive. This is the longest car I've ever had, 207 inches. And it's a two door. Man, what, Lincoln is crazy. I can't believe this all fit in there. So we already lost almost 100 pounds, I guarantee it. And this is really light, but hey, it all adds up, so it's coming out. Not with one hand, though. This is actually a couple pounds, I swear. Dude, oh man. Great start. Great start. I guess the seats are next, because this is. This is pretty much done. I'm not taking out the adhesive, the sound deadening. That's not happening. You need like dry ice to do that, according to Chris Fix. Nice, I forgot I bought this. Oh, sweet. Now this is gonna be the worst part because it's hot in here. And I'm not quite sure how to get these out yet, but we'll figure it out together. Wow, metal Lincoln caps. It only came with two, so they're gone. Oh, yep, carpets. Never forget the carpets. They weigh nothing, but all four of them adds up. Gotta go. All right, lift up on this corner. This corner. Oh, man. It is hot in here. Oh, man, that's tough on there. Oh, yeah, look at that padding. This thing is heavy. Not surprisingly, it's all leather. Oh, it just slides out. Oh, sweet. Oh, it's easy. All right. Oh, no. When I make it someday, I'll get a camera, man. But for now, I gotta grind and do, do it all myself. Oh, this smells bad. Definitely getting this out of here. Somehow, uh, guys, I honestly don't know if these seat backs are gonna come out. As far as I know, they don't fold down and there's no way in the back to fold them down either. But there are two bolts right here. It looks like holding them in. I'll try those. We got it, baby. Uh, all you do is take those two bolts out that I showed you and you pull up or you, you pull up and then pull out. Oh man, that's heavy. Oh, it's too hot for this still. Look at this thing. This foam hasn't seen the light of day ever. And it's 25 years old. Oh! Yep, it's all one piece. I'm glad I didn't rip it completely. Oh man, this is heavy too. It's probably had water in it. Oh, gross. Come on. Oh, seatbelt. Damn seatbelt. Oh man, yeah, this is a couple pounds too. Whoo. 
that's sick. It has a crossbar probably for suspension, but that that's really cool. Definitely makes the car more sporty. It's uh, not too dirty down there. Oh, no way. All right, free socket. Look at that. Look how much we already got done. That's at least 100 pounds. I'm calling it. There's wiring under this carpet. And this there's a leak on this side. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to worry about it today. And I'm going to leave the seats because they're power operated and they're comfortable. But they're heavy. They are really heavy, but... I don't have replacements and I don't want to just have a one seat car. So keep those. But the back is done, I think. Yeah, yeah, the back's done. There's nothing else I can really take out. I'm not gonna try to cut metal or take those brackets out at this point. They're just too stuck in there from the age. Yeah, I think we're done with the inside of the car. I got some stuff out the top right there, like the motor. I'm not gonna take out this, cause it's nice to have. The stereo I could take out, but I'd rather leave it in if I'm gonna sell this car sometime. And I love these door panels. They're really clean, even for 2022, they still look good. So I'm keeping those how they are. Like I want the car to still be like livable, drivable. So I'm gonna keep the front the same, but everything in the back is way lighter and it's rear wheel drive. That might actually help a lot for handling and everything. So we're gonna move on to the engine bay and the front bumper. That might be the hardest part actually. Oh my God. Wow, that was way too easy. Is that the first thing that just popped off? Come on. This one, of course not. I also hate plastic covers anyway because they're bad for heat recirculation just gets trapped under here there's no need for this it's just for looks i hate them i always take them off at least i try to these are actually so stripped that i can't take them out so this is stuck here it's it's not much weight i just uh i don't like it but whatever let's we'll just worry about this bumper because that's another really heavy part and i think it'll look way better without the bumper but first i'm going to do my favorite thing and good and good except there's water in this one <sighs> what are you gonna do all right i couldn't find a single tutorial online so i'm gonna attempt to do this myself um i hope these come out easy and the front grill this could take a while unfortunately guys i could not get the bumper off the story of this car is every ball on the outside is rusted or corroded because it spent its whole life next to the ocean up in Washington. So the salt just absolutely wrecked everything on the outside, every piece of metal. Like there's tons of rust on the radiator, under the car and on all these exterior bolts. So oh, I can't get this off today. And I really wanted to see what it would look like. So I'm very disappointed. I can repaint stuff, however, like the black grill and this trim. But yeah, I'm, I'm not happy about this at all. I really wanted to take that bumper off. It is what it is. I'm gonna to try to take it off in the future when it's a little bit cooler out. And I sprayed some WD-40 and all those rusted bolts. Maybe that'll loosen them up. But I can take this off, the hood liner, and that's some weight reduction. So that'll be the last part. All right, I removed the fiberglass, which I had to cut off, sadly. But it was destroyed anyway. I was gonna take it off. Um, so that's pretty much it. I think that's the last of the weight reduction I can do today. Look at all this. Look at all this weight. This is definitely 100 pounds, at least. And look at that, completely empty. I love it. I love doing this stuff, it's so fun. So satisfying. But yeah, let's clean that up and take this for a spin. See if it feels any faster. I'll never get tired of that. All right, traction control off, first pull. Oh yeah, oh it's faster. It's faster already. Oh, there was a car, but it's faster already. Oh man, oh I love this thing. Oh, it feels a little bit different for sure. Wow, that wasn't even the best pull because it's a narrow road and there was a car coming. Oh man, it is hot though. Woo! 
I don't even have to put my full foot down. It just goes. It just goes now. It went before, it just goes now. And also, it probably cleaned out all the fuel injectors on that 200 mile journey, so that, that helped too. This thing is so smooth now. Oh my goodness. Wow, this thing is so fun, dude. Oh man, definitely worth the weight reduction. Uh, definitely trying to take that bumper off. And should I take the mufflers off? Let that V8 roar? Let me know. I might have to cut them off though, and I don't know if I want to do that, just in case I sell this, but I'm very happy right now. Yeah, guys, let me know what you want next from Link and me. Yeah, I'm in love with V8s already. There's too many cars on this tiny road. I don't get it. This neighborhood's weird. So many cars pass through, and I know they don't live here. But for now, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I'm making a lot of videos lately. I just, I mean, cars are my life now. I love it. So, just my passion. So, definitely bringing it to you guys. I'm going to go drive this. Um, not as crazy, but I'm going to get gas because it's a V8, and I'm already on empty. All right. See you guys next time.